Australia may have found a solution to the housing problem in this country and elsewhere in the world. His housing system invention has earned him a place as a finalist in the TT1000 Awards program. The award recognizes companies which use technology to improve their global competitiveness. More than one third of South Africans live in shacks. Government faces the daunting task of building them proper houses. Muladi construction systems could be an answer. The lightweight plastic Muladi molds can be used to build the shell for a house in just one day and at half the price of a conventional brick home. It also doesn't require skilled labor. The system is flexible and can be used for structures of any size. Like this ablution block at a school at Haman Skral near Pretoria. Once the foundation is in place, the interlocking panels, door frames and window blockouts are erected in four hours. The wall cavity is filled with a mixture of river sand and cement and left to dry for a day. The walls are three to four times stronger than conventional brick ones. When you compare uh, block or brick compressor string versus Muladi, uh, a block would be in the region of four MPA and, and a brick about seven MPA. When we design the Muladi wall, we go for a, a, a wall strength of between 10 and 15 MPA, depending on the soil condition. If it's clay, we can increase that uh, strength even more. The panels weigh only 8 kilograms per square meter. The molds can be reused up to 100 times. Muladi is designed specifically for low-cost housing. It uh, is a system that can uh, be used on a repetitive basis. Uh, with local unskilled labor building their own community and own houses uh, on a daily basis. The Muladi construction system has received acclaim overseas. It's used in 16 countries. Negotiations are also underway with China, Saudi Arabia and India. Back home, the idea is slowly catching on. The company has already won several awards and hopes to add another one when the TT100 winners are announced in November. Carlin Fulhun, Business News, Port Elizabeth.